You can see it's very clearly you got involved with it this year, as yeah. with many years. So um, tell us more about why, why, why the zombie walk in particular. Well, I was speaking to someone earlier, and I was just saying how unique the whole concept is, and how how we can all get together and share our weird thing about all being zombies in the same place and walking through Birmingham and scaring people. It's just fantastic, and I think uh, we all we all it, this appeals to everyone and. It's just the uniqueness at the end of the day, I think, that why most people do it. And your story obviously touches so many people, and we, you know, I've spoken to you over the years about it as well. Um, but it's not just you. I mean, you must have met so many other people who have been involved with Birmingham Children's Hospital and now have become a part of the zombie walk as well. Yeah, definitely. I've, uh, obviously, Jamie, the founder of it, and Adam Yosef, who's uh, one of the main photographers here, and all the Birmingham Children's Hospital fundraising team, they're just... Just everyone, and you meet people with experiences who uh, can share their experiences with uh, Bowman Children's Hospital, and it's just inspiring, isn't it, really? And if it's someone's first zombie walk today, or maybe they're one of the people who've just walked through the city centre and gone, what on earth is happening in Victoria Square? Uh, what would you say to those people who are here for the first time experiencing the zombie walk? Get out now, otherwise <laughs> you're going to be stuck here for the next few years, just keep coming back, and it's, <laughs> but it's fantastic. We're seriously just... Get in, embrace it, and just raise money for the great cause. And Rafe, you know, as I said, you're a shining example of this, of just when you dig deep, the difference that you can make for doing something like this, I suppose. Thank you very much. Um, go on, sorry. No, it's just it's just a, a nice to, to have a person you can speak to. You know, this isn't just a, 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 a cause that we want to push. It's, it's something that you've experienced in your lifetime, and you're obviously incredibly grateful to Birmingham Children's Hospital and all the people that work there. Yeah, I really am, and it's, it's just... To raise money for such a great cause, and you can see it when you walk into Birmingham Children's Hospital, how much difference the money makes. And just from my, the start when I was in 2008 and having my first operation, the improvements from then to now has just been vast, and it's just fantastic to see it just developing, and it's brilliant. And some fantastic POS makeup I've just noticed on your face. <laughs> yes, thank that. you very much. Thank you to <laughs> Hannah over there who did yeah, it. <laughs> Hannah's done a stellar job making us both look absolutely hideous today. Uh, before you leave the stage, Rafe, uh, we have been doing a, uh, a bit of fundraising today, a bit of a raffle, if you'd Ooh. like to take this stomp and hand thing off me. Uh, so we've been, uh, we've been asking people to donate and, and get involved in a raffle for this. Uh, just a couple of quid. It makes all the difference. Dig as deep as you can today for Birmingham Children's Hospital. A uh, very simple raffle for someone to carry around on the zombie walk today. And as you said, terrify all passers-by with it. <laughs> uh, so, if you can dig in there, Rafe, and pull out a number, and we can reveal who wins one of the w re weirdest raffle prizes ever. Who wins the stump, Rafe? Well, it's number 540. It's Chloe Fitzpatrick. Congratulations to Chloe Fitzpatrick. What a prize to when you've won yourself a stump. Come round the front here, Chloe. <laughs> Chloe. Congratulations. <laughs> it's the weirdest prize giveaway ever. You're welcome. <laughs> Enjoy your stump. Have a, have a bite of it, Zoe. Uh, oh Chloe, go on. Have a, have, a little, have a little nibble on it, go on. Embrace the wind. <laughs> We're all here for the very same reason. I told them to get out. I told you. <laughs> That's it now. You're part of it. Uh, Ray, thank you so much for coming on stage and sharing your story with us. And as always, uh, being a part of the Birmingham Children's Hospital you know, cause and, of course, being a part of the zombie walk. Thank you so much, Ray. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Ray Walker. Thank you very much. Now, you've just heard how much that hospital means to Rafe. Uh, you no doubt have heard so many other different stories about the great things that Birmingham Children's Hospital do. So please do dig deep today. I've mentioned before, there's guys hanging around with buckets all around here today. For you, you standing outside, if you want to come inside, only a fiver. It's a fantastic cause uh, to give to. Uh, and please donate to this fantastic hospital uh, right here in Birmingham. And also, as, as you can probably see, you can text to donate. Uh, just text ZOMB88 and the amount to donate uh, to 770. We are less than half an hour away from the Zombie Walk 2016 beginning and terrifying even more people in central Birmingham. We'll see you in a few minutes. Let the music set you free. Hello?